Understanding, I'm hitting the hay, a dive into English slang. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a popular English phrase that you might have heard in movies, TV shows, or from native speakers. I'm hitting the hay. This expression is a wonderful example of the colorful and vivid nature of English slang. Let's dive into what it means, its origins, and how you can use it in everyday conversation to sound more like a native speaker. The phrase, I'm hitting the hay, simply means going to bed or going to sleep. It's an informal way of telling others that you're ending your day and preparing to rest. This expression is commonly used in casual conversations, and it's understood by English speakers worldwide. Understanding the origins of this phrase adds an interesting layer to its usage. The term, hay, refers to the dried grass that is often used for animal bedding. In the past, people used hay as a filling for mattresses. So, hitting the hay, originally meant literally hitting or laying down on a hay-filled mattress to go to sleep. This background gives us insight into how language evolves with changes in lifestyle and technology. Incorporating, I'm hitting the hay, into your conversation is easy. Here are a few examples. After a long day at work, I'm exhausted. I think I'll hit the hay early tonight, suggesting it's time to end a late night gathering. It's getting late. I'm going to hit the hay. Responding to someone asking if you're staying up late. No, I'm hitting the hay soon. This phrase is best used in informal settings among friends or family. It's not appropriate for formal contexts, like in business emails or meetings. There are a few variations of, I'm hitting the hay, that you might come across, such as, I'm hitting the sack. The word, sack, in this context also refers to a bed. Whether someone says they're hitting the hay or the sack, the meaning remains the same. They're heading to bed. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, I'm hitting the hay. We hope this video has shed some light on this quirky expression and its origins. Remember, phrases like this one are a great way to add color and personality to your conversations in English. Don't be afraid to use them as you continue to learn and practice the language. Sweet dreams, and until next time, keep learning and exploring.